Now in Java, you might have, for example, a string that holds a number. Now, this is a string that holds a number 70. Even though we have a valid number inside this string, we can't perform arithmetic operations on it because it is a string. If I attempt multiplying this variable times 12, I would get an error because it's a string. We can convert strings to numbers, integers, by using the integer.passInt. This will return an int value, a primitive int value. Because it's a primitive int value, you don't have the methods you would have had if it was an integer wrapper class object. If you want to convert a string to an integer object, you use value of instead of pass int. Now that we use value of, if you notice, we have access to the methods present in the integer class. So it depends on your situation. You can use integer.passInt or integer.value of. Now that we have converted this variable score into an integer, we can print out score num plus 20. That should be 70 plus 20. And then we run it and it prints out 90. If we didn't convert the variable score to an integer, we would have an error. Now, there might be situations where the string might have letters or something that didn't make sense. If you have a situation like this and you try to convert it to a number, you will have an error. Because Java would say, okay, I see 70, but then I see love. How am I supposed to convert that to a number? So you can't just get any string and convert it to a number. In the output, you see an error, an exception. We will talk on exceptions soon, but you just know that that will result in an error. So when you want to convert a number, make sure that the format is correct.